just one. Who lives here? Uh, Mr. Merchant, Brian. Hello. With a girlfriend. He calls her Sammy. Where at work? He's a carpet fitter, works for Coverlis. They couldn't just have left the door open. What? And the gate wide and all. Mike. You're right, Debs. Yeah. That upstairs is just as bad. It's been well done over. Sarah's got from five one seven. Hey, go ahead, Mike. Hey, can you show us off watch? We've been called to a burglary at twenty seven Dole Road. Apparently, the occupier is a Mr. Brian Merchant. He works at a carpet fitters called Coverleys. Can you give him a call? Stand by. Right, just wait there, I'll be back in a minute. Are you not the boy's mother? Or do you know him? It would have hit him. The car? He was on the pavement, waiting to cross the road on his bike. It was coming straight at him. And you grabbed him? Look! Out on his bike, on a road like this. All on his own. What's your name? He can't let kids out on their own. Don't care though, do they? I don't deserve kids. All right, I'll take the boy. You all right? What's your name? Dave! We're going to breathalyze the driver. How is he? Shock. He said the boy rode off the curb, forcing him to break and swerve. Oh, yeah? You got a witness that she saw it all. Says the boy was on the pavement. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Tell you in video still here. Yeah, wallet and cash. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Excuse me, sir, you are? Merchant, Brian. I live here. The upstairs being done too, Mr. Merchant. Please leave everything as it is. Who called you? A neighbour. Did they see who it was? Just the gate open and the back door. Hold on. No, 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 Mr. Merchant, don't. They were sent for the scene examiner. When did you leave for work this morning? It's all here. Brian? No, Sammy, it's okay. It's My okay. Things. Please. Samantha Baker, she lives with me. Have you got an idea who might have done this? What they would have been after? How the would I know? I'm trying to help Mr. Merchant. It looks personal. A trashing job. I think it's all here. You Rolex. If I find anything's gone, I'll come down the station. And that's it, is it? Look, um, leave it for a bit, okay? All right, Mr. Merchant. If that's what you prefer. Merchant. Alice Merchant. And you are? Robert. Robert Holt. I'm her brother. And she's gone missing, you say? Yes. She should have arrived at Houston Station in exact way. I told you lot, take a seat. Sorry. She's coming to stay with me. She should have been on the nine o'clock train. From where? Birmingham, New Street. Well, that's what? Only six hours ago. Could she have missed the train? Have you tried to call her at all? I can't. She's been in hospital. She's released this morning. And which hospital is that? King's Hill. It's in the Midlands. It's a psychiatric hospital. I said keep it down! A psychiatric hospital? I've been on to them. She's definitely been discharged. Any idea why she might not turn up? Where else she might go? I mean, she could have changed her mind about meeting you. No. No. Right. Well, it's, uh, what? Just gone three? Give her a bit more time, eh? Assault at Cheatham Road Primary School. The informant, the head teacher, Mrs. Fitzgerald. Sierra Oscar from 517. We're just around the corner. We'll take it. Received, Mike. Our information is that an ambulance is not required. Received. Hey, mistress. Straight through. Mrs. Fitzgerald? Yeah. OK. I'm all right. So what happened? A woman called Alice Merchant. Her children used to be here, a boy and a girl, nine and eight. The family broke up six months ago. She wanted to know where they were. And she attacked you? I told her their father had taken them away. 
And their father would be? Brian Merchant. So what happened exactly? I told her I didn't know where the children were. She didn't believe me. I said I'd make inquiries. I picked up the phone. She slammed it down. I told her to leave and she went for me, hitting and scratching. I yelled for my secretary and she took off. Look, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but there was a court case. She's supposed to have taken a knife to her husband. Excuse me. Right, can you give us a description of Mrs Merchant? I suggest before you go any further, you look up your records. She was put away. Right, a description. Yes, Sarge. There may be a connection with the burglary at 27 Dole Road, the home of Brian Merchant. Yeah, OK, Mike. All received. Could you circulate this mesper, please, Sarge? No, well, I've got a moment. Thank you. Alice Merchant? Yeah, her brother's been in. She was released into his care from the psychiatric hospital this morning. Hasn't showed up. Oh, yes, she has. Better let Mr Munro know. He's going to get away with it. With a breathalyzer negative. He ran over the kid's bike. And he said the kid was in the road. And the woman said he was still on the pavement. Tea, please, love. Tough, Steve. You haven't got her, have you? Can make that too. Is this private grief? Can we all have a share? Steve lost an RTA witness. Yeah, one minute she's there, next minute gone. You never could hang on to a woman. It's not funny. Kid nearly bought it. Two teas, please. What does she look like? Uh, she's got long reddish blonde hair. She's about five six. Beige jacket. She had a kind of uh, brooch thing, like a seahorse. Brooch. That's correct, Debbie. B r o o c h. Brooch. Like silver coloured on a right lapel. Yeah. Had this before, Mike. Great, Steve. That's great. So what exactly did Gary McCann say? Well, he thinks there's more this brother Robert Holt can tell us. He said he was cagey. Yeah, well, it's only natural, I suppose. I mean, if she's ill, you know, wanting to keep it quiet. He'll want his sister found quietly and discreetly, with the fewer people knowing, the better. Oh, well, we're mouth. off to a good start You're then. Pathetic. You know what you are? You're a pathetic little man. Keep your mouth shut. Get off this property, you're trespassing. You told them where I was living, didn't you? All right, let's yeah. calm Did down, you shall we? That door in. You've called him, have you? You're Mr. Holt? Yes. And you'd be? Never mind who I'd be. I asked for your name. This isn't police business. No, but threatening behaviour is. Your name, please, sir. Brian Merchant. Pathetic little weasel, that's a call, yeah. No, nobody called us. What are you doing here? Social call, delivering a message. Oh, this would concern the burglar at your home today. Would it? Do you know who broke into your home, Mr Merchant? Would it be your wife, Alice Merchant? Look, this is personal, family. It's got nothing to do with the police. Mr Merchant! You want to stick up for that crazy cow? Fine, but you keep her away from me! All right? Why don't you go and cop a few villains? Can I get you something, a, a cup of tea? You all right, Mr Holt? Uh, do, sit down. Do you know where Alice is? No, 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 I don't. Did she break into Mr Merchant's house earlier today? I, I don't know. He seems to think so. He would. Have you any idea why Alice didn't arrive in the train as planned? Please, uh, I'll, I'll just put the kettle on. It won't be a minute. Uh, Mr Holt, Alice has been away for six months, is that right? And you've been in touch with her during that time? I travelled up to see her. I understand she and Brian have got two children. What about them? What about them? Mr Holt, two hours ago, your sister attacked the head teacher of Cheetham Road Primary School. She's not mad. I'm not having that. She's not a lunatic. We checked the records. Six months ago, Alice attacked and wounded Brian with a knife. She was admitted to a psychiatric hospital. He was playing around with Samantha Baker. Her. He drove Alice to it. Did he also drive her to attack a head teacher? Probably. Well, you're not making sense, Mr. Holt. Whenever I went up to see her, she'd ask how the children were. Bobby and Lisa. She was desperate to see them. He wouldn't take them up, denied her access. I told her that they were fine and still living at home with Brian. And they're not? Brian gave up their house. It was only rented. He set up with Samantha in Doral Road. Are the children? Brian had them taken into care, they're fostered. Alice doesn't know. And you didn't tell her? I couldn't. I didn't have the heart to. He would have finished her. I, I was going to tell her. 
Sit her down properly and tell her. Alice was coming to live with you. They're satisfied with her progress. She had no idea Brian had moved. If she went straight to her old house instead of coming here, she'd have found out. She got hold of Brian's new address. Well, there was no sign of the kids, so she trashed the place and moved on to the school. And Brian's next on the list. Yeah, I've got one from 363 receiving. Go ahead, 363. Could we have a meet at Sun Hill, sir? Re some information? At the RTA in Hoxton Row. She saved a boy from injury. Alice Merchant? I'm certain, sir. You spoke to her? Yes, sir. She gave you a name? Well, not exactly. Her appearance tallies with the description given to Mike and Debbie at Cheetham Row Primary School. Oh, well done, Steve. Sir, she gave me no reason to think... I know. No idea why she rushed off? No, sir. How did she come over? A bit odd. Very intense. All right, Steve, thanks. We've got to find Brian before she does. Uh, who was it he works for? Coverley's Carpets. Oh, Bob Cry's got details. Get on to them, June. Find out where he is. Sir. Yeah, there's Merchant's van, just there. Got a knife. Drop it! Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Who let her out? I'm arresting you for assault. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. I can't! Where are they? Where's my kids? I just want my kids! Was it? Stanley knife. Nasty. Message from custody, sir, is that Alice Merchant, she's calmed down quite a bit, and the social worker and duty solicitor are on their way. I don't want to take it any further. I've told you people once. Would you like to sit down, Mr. Merchant? Get onto the hospital and have her sent back. I strongly advise you make a statement. This is family business. Well, actually, it isn't. Your wife attacked you with a knife. Our duty inspector was hurt. So you want to take it to court? Yes. What's the point? She's a fruitcake. She doesn't know what she's doing. No? Well, she found out where you were living. She tracked you down at work. Turning my place over. Then barging in and shouting the odds about the kids when I'm working. <laughs> I'm sorting you out now, I said. And she picked up my Stanley knife. Come on, then, she said. You've been asking for this. Well, she wants to find her kids. She doesn't she's know where they are. She's forfeited her rights to see the kids. But she is their mother. I can see whose side you're on. I'm not bringing a charge for you to twist it. Look, Mr. Merchant. Nothing is going to be twisted. You've seen what she's like. I'm not having the kids live with that. So explain that to the court. You think it was easy for me seeing them go into care. It's temporary, all right? I can't look after them properly. I'm away for days on end. Sam said there's no way she'd have them, but I'm working on her. Whether or not you proceed with it, we will. You don't know what Alice put me through. Did you encourage her to seek help? Alice, you need help, girl. You don't know much, do you? You ever told anybody that they're around a twist? That they need a psychiatrist, eh? Well, she's not exactly anybody. No. She's exactly like her mother. She ended up in a mental home. It's after we had the kids. That's when it set in. Coming home day in, day out. Finding nothing done, nothing for the kids' dinner. Her lying down, going on at me. It was postnatal depression for life with her. Did Brian have another woman? How many do you want? There was Beth, the showroom manager, as big as beautiful, he called her. There was Sylvia down the employment agency. He met her when they had their office done up. It wasn't only her carpet got laid. Oh, Brian was very clever like that. Did you try and leave Brian? How could I with Bobby and Lisa? Children come first. His current girlfriend is Samantha Baker. Yeah, I know Sammy. W was it her that caused your breakup? They flaunted it, trying to provoke me. One morning he announced he was leaving, just like that. I went for Brian with a knife from the kitchen. You would, wouldn't you? <clears throat> Alice, I want to ask you about your movement since you left Kings Hill Hospital this morning. Has it stopped bleeding, your arm? 
I understand you were discharged at 8 o'clock. Shouldn't have got in my way. You travelled down here how? A train? Coach? You were supposed to meet your brother, Robert Holt. Why didn't you? I decided to go home first. Why? Because it was my home. That's why. Brian had left. Two months ago, they said. You didn't know? No. You were at Kings Hill Hospital for six months. Did Brian visit you at all? For the tape, Mrs Merchant is shaking her head. I understand your brother Robert kept you in touch with what was happening. He said Bobby and Lisa were OK. They were still at home with Brian. I know when something's going on. I'm not a fool. You didn't believe Robert? You tell me somebody I can believe. You found Brian had left a forwarding address? A nice new home. A 27 Doral Road. Did you go there? Just for the two of them. All done out a treat. Were you at a traffic accident today about half past two? A boy was knocked off his bicycle. Bobby was knocked down last year. Had you broken in and wrecked the house? Is your arm hurting you? Is that what's the matter with him? Well, I wouldn't be surprised, Alice. You broke into 27 Doral Road, yes? The back door. Did you do any damage? I was looking for the kids' things. I searched everywhere. I went to the school. They'd been taken away. She wouldn't tell me where. What's he done with them? Where are they? Sit down! Now! They were taken into care, Alice, when you went away. Taken into care? Bobby and Lisa are in a foster home. A foster home? But Brian says it's only temporary. He wants them back. Wants them back? He doesn't want them back. They remind him of me. It's been parked here hours. Is it locked? Yeah. The driver isn't moving. I thought they had a heart attack till I looked a bit closer. We'll take care of it. Thank you. Still alive, just. Sierra Oscar from 517, urgent message. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, ambulance required. Malkin Road car park. Man with severe head injuries. Stand by. Mike? Right. 517 from Sierra Oscar, ambulance on way. Yeah, received, Sarge. Can you do me a car check, please, on the Delta 150 November Tango Hotel? Stand by. Anything? Yeah. 517 from Sierra Oscar. Yeah, go ahead, Sarge. No trace, lost or stolen. Last reported keeper is William Farmer of 181 Forsyth Street, Birmingham. Received, Sarge. That talisman identity card showing him to be a member of the staff at Kings Hill Hospital, Warwickshire. Can you confirm that hospital? Kings Hill, Warwickshire. OK, receive, Mike. The parking ticket on the dashboard was timed at 11.35 this morning, which would be about right if this William Farmer had driven Alice Merchant down from Birmingham. Except we've got nothing to place her in the car. Just one hell of a coincidence. Meadows. Yeah. Thank you. William Farmer's just died in hospital. Did you ask Alice Merchant how she got down here? She blanked it, sir. Mrs. Merchant, I'm Detective Chief Inspector Meadows. Which way? There's something else to call Paris. I trashed his house, I told you, and I went for him with a knife. I admit it. This is another matter, I'm afraid. That's all right. Don't be afraid. Mrs. Merchant. Who are you? My name is Meadows. I don't know you. Alice. Don't Alice me. Now, what's your problem? In our earlier interview, I asked how you travelled down to London today. I also asked why you hurried away from the scene of a road accident when an officer tried to question you. Good. We've got something sorted out. Do you know Mr William Farmer? <sighs> you do know him? Know him. 
You don't know any of them. Was he a nursing assistant at Kings Hill Hospital? He brought a cigarettes in and a bottle if we wanted under his coat. What do you mean, was? His body has been found in a car a mile from here. Where's Robert? My brother. I want him here. Did you travel down to London with William Farmer? You've got it in for me, haven't you? It was an accident. I didn't mean to hurt you. Mrs Merchant. You OK? Alice. Alice. You OK? I'm OK. It's everybody else. You don't trust men, do you? Give me one good reason. Oh, they pretend to be helping you. Then they try it on, say it'll be good for me. Relax me. What do they try on? Have a guess. Go on. I think we both know what you mean. But you let this William Farmer give you a lift. Yeah. It was all right, William. Everybody liked William. It was everybody's pal. Was it his day off? How did you know? Well, it'd have made sure, wouldn't it? Well, you'd know. You're a man. So what was it then? He was going down to see his family, and if you wanted to save on your train fare, you were welcome. Said he was interested in me. He'd sought Brian out for me. So you got this lift, down the motorway, stopped at the services. Well, no, it's only a couple of hours. That was it. The services. That was what? When I should have guessed. Why well, go straight to Roberts, he said. Come for a drink. How long's it been since you went to a pub for a drink? How long's it been since you enjoyed yourself a bit? So, you arrived in London, and then what? He drove to a car park. Right to the top, out of the way. He said he wanted a serious chat first. I knew then. He knew what? Why didn't you get out of the car? He leant across me. Lock the door. Put his hands here by my neck. I could smell the fried breakfast on his breath. I said, Robert would be worried I had to go. He said he'd always fancied me. I'd been driving him mad. He was gripping me tighter and tighter. I said, oh, all right, all right, just get your weight off me. Your jacket. Let's help get... Get it off. Get it down his arms. Right, that'll stop him. What are you doing, he said. Oh, no, you don't. You got a hold of me here. He was gripping, hurting, swearing at me. There was this lock for the steering wheel down by my seat. I got a hold of it. Gotcha. So I did. Again. And again. And then what did you do? Got the keys. Got out. Locked the car. Threw the keys away. You never went to Roberts? Why should I go to Roberts? I knew he was hiding things from me. I went to find Bobby and Lisa. Alice, you must understand, you're facing some very serious charges. It should have been, Brian. Make sure it is next time. I promise.